running into another issue here with the Tamiya Hummer, and it's on the dry shaft. I ordered a new dry shaft for the vehicle, uh, which is this one right here from Yeah Racing. It's nice aluminum dry shaft, pretty cool. And uh, as I was installing it, I realized something. That's like this thing looks a little short. Maybe you know, once it gets connected to, together on the, the vehicle itself, it might fit. But evidently, it did not do that. So here is the uh, original dry shaft, nice little thin little rod, as you see. Put them both together, and look at this. Mm, a bit short. <laughs> now, I thought I did my research pretty good on this vehicle. Apparently, I didn't do a good enough job on it. Uh, now, Tamaya had two TA chassis. They had a TA-01 and a TA-2 chassis. Now, from what I read on some of the articles and form sites, is that the uh, TA-02 chassis had longer suspension arms, um, and all, but I'm not exactly sure 100% guys, I will say that, don't hold me to it, my information sometimes is wrong, I've been called out for it about a few times, and I, I do apologize on that, but apparently this chassis is not the TA-02, it's probably the TA-01, well, I'm not exactly sure on it, alright, uh, any of you guys out there who knows Tamaya products fairly well, uh, would know this, uh, so if you do, Comment down below, let me know, is this a T801 or a T802? I'm not exactly sure, guys. This is my second Tamiya vehicle uh, that I've owned, and so I really don't know too much. And I should have done a better job on the researching of this, but apparently I, I just thought I had the T802 because that's what I saw a lot of listings of was Tamiya T802 uh, chassis and stuff like that. So I don't know if I'm wrong or right. I don't know. Uh, I could use your help. If So if you know anything about Tamiya products or the TA uh, chassis, definitely comment down below. Let me know what you guys know about these chassis and uh, if you know where I can get the right dry shaft, right size dry shaft, definitely let me know. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so that was the only issue. I did get the shock mount plate done and the spent uh, my shocks mounted and everything. So hopefully that'll help it. And uh, yeah, so at least I got something done. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I guess for right now I'll put the original dry shaft back in there, hook up the electronics, and I'll get it out there on the out there on the trails and stuff like that, and see how she runs. Alright guys, well thanks for watching, and uh, if you got any questions, comments, uh, concerns about anything, comment down below, I'll be happy to answer them for you, and if you guys could help me on this little issue here, I would graciously appreciate it, if I say graciously, I guess I said it right, uh, I would really appreciate it guys, alright, well thanks for watching, and I will see y'all in the next upcoming video, and uh, alright. Well, I guess, uh, later? <laughs>